What is going on guys? Apple Advance here. Time to show you guys to download RetroArch on your iOS 9 and on your iOS 10 device for the need of a jailbreak or PC. This method is absolutely free guys and before we actually begin today's tutorial, can I get a thumbs down below and can you guys hit that subscribe button for me as I really appreciate you guys' support. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's begin today's tutorial. Just turn on the link in the description below and it should be inside right here. Go ahead and choose an icon before you install and once you actually choose an icon, you should be redirected to your settings application. At the top you'll see cancel or install, go and press install, put a password that blocks to your phone, press install, press install over time, and then click done. Now once you back to your home screen, you should see this app right here, iOS EMUs install, go ahead and click on that app. Go ahead and let it load up, and at the top you'll see home apps and info, go ahead and click on apps, and scroll down so you can find RetroArch. Once you find RetroArch, you want to go ahead and just click on it, and once you actually go ahead and click on RetroArch, um, you should be redirected to Safari. Okay, once you're actually redirected to Safari, at the top you'll see back or install, go ahead and press install at the top, and once you actually press install at the top, you want to go and press install, then you should get a prompt on your phone asking you, would you like to install RetroArch? Go ahead and press install, let it load up, and once it actually loads up all the way, you'll click on it, it's going to say untrusted enterprise developer, so to actually have access to RetroArch, what you want to do is find settings, from settings you want to find general, from general, you want to find profiles device management. Once you find profiles device management, you want to go and click on it, scroll down until you can find um, the actual enterprise app that belongs to RetroArch, which should be this one right here. Press trust, press trust over time, and there you go. You have access to RetroArch back again on your iOS 9 or iOS 10 device. Remember, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed to it right now, it's been Apple Advanced, and see you guys.